Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 46 in chapter 24. Chapter 24 is about capacitance, Dow Electric's electric energy storage. So there you can see we have two capacitors, C1 and C2, right? We write it there. And it's connected with a battery. And the battery's potential difference is given at there. Now we ask you how much energy be this uh, uh, capacitors if they are placed in parallel or in series. So first one, we consider these two capacitors in power connection. For power connection, the equivalent capacitance just equal to C1 plus C2, right? Yes. Now you can see, we look at the quantities given, it tells us the potential difference V, C1 and C2. It looks like very straightforward when we consider the electric energy. We must use one half, CV squared, right? This C is the capacitance for the circuit just as the equivalent capacitance for this uh, parallel connection, C1 plus C2, right? Input the C inside, we get the function for U, electric energy there, and input C1, C2, V, we get final answer there. Next question, how about the two capacitor is in series connection? For series connection, very straightforward, we can see when we want to see the electric energy, we consider one half CV square because the V is given, right? So we just need to find the equivalent capacitance for these two capacitors in series connection. And normally, the series connection can be right in this function, right? And C is equivalent capacitance. So we convert this equation, we can get the function for C in there. Now we input C in this uh, function U there, and then you get it there, right? And then input C1, C2, V inside, get the answer there, yes. The next one asks you how much charge flows uh, from battery in each case. So in this case, we can see uh, how much battery, uh, how much charge flow so that is ask you the charge in this circuit, right? The charge in this circuit we can consider as the capacitance times the potential difference V. Mm -hmm. Now in first cases, we can see this is a power connection. The equivalent capacitance just C1 plus C2. Agree? So you input the C equal to C1 plus C2 times V, you get it there. The series connection, we can still use the equivalent capacitance times V to get the charge. And this C is just there. This is a series connection, right? And then you input the quantity inside, get the answer there. Thank you.